Hi, it's Mike here at Music Villa. That was the B part to a tune called Beaumont Rag. Uh, I played it in C, so for any of you uh, folks out there that normally would play it in D or another key, I would have capoed and played it out of a D position. But I wanted to play that just to show you this alternate cross-pick pattern. So in the previous videos on this little mini-series on cross-picking, we talked about the down-down-up. Now we're going to talk about the alternate picking pattern. And what that means, basically, is we're going to play against our uh, three-string pattern like we did on the other, but this time we're just going to use alternate picking. It's always going to be a down-up, down-up, down-up. We're never going to break out of a down-up cycle. So you can sort of put the down-down-up thing away for a minute and look at uh, this different way of doing it, which is to do the alternate picking. And it looks like this. And if you have the tab from the article, we have that tabbed out as well. So I'm just going to play it against uh, the strings uh, D, G, B, which spells a G chord. We're just going to do it and, and show you how that works. So what's nice about this pattern is we don't have any rest strokes, um, and we just continue to play uh, alternate pattern. But what you're going to notice happens, like we did with the down, down, up, is we still get this three against four feel. So every time we come around to the top of the string set, if you will, the pick direction is going to change. So here we have down, up, down. Then when we cross up, we're going to be up, down, up. We cross up, it's going to be down, up, down. It's always staying in that down, up pocket. So it looks like this again. Down, up, down, up. So that pattern then, we can get out of that syncopated feel the same way we did with the down, down, up pattern by using that toggle that we talked about, which is just the down, up. So in that case, we would be... So you can see we're going down, up, down, up, down, up, then down, up, there's our toggle, and then we come to the top and we're straightened out again. That's the alternate pick pattern. And we can use that like I did on that opening song, which was uh, the B part to Beaumont Rag, where we went. That's the alternate pick pattern. We can use it uh, against any other string set, like here we could go uh, same way. And then we can get out of it with the toggle. So it gives us a different way that we can play against a chord. Now this particular pattern is cool because we can use it even when we're just strumming rhythm. So if you're playing a, a song and you're just uh, used to maybe the boom chuckle feel, you can always just throw in the alternate cross picking pattern. works really well to add it to your rhythm playing. Okay, so there's another way that we can use this alternate cross-picking pattern too. We can we can use it in the tune like I did with Beaumont Rag. We can use it just in your rhythm playing. And then we can also create um, some a nice little run uh, using it to sort of get out of a solo or end a solo or tag a song. And one way that I like to do it is to, um, again, playing on this G chord, I have the open strings that just spell out a G chord. So we can harmonize this uh, G scale and play a run just like we did with our chord scales. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the, the low D and the high B. We're going to leave the middle string G alone for just a second. And what we're going to do when we harmonize the scale is we're going to take the bookends, the D and the B, and we're just going to play a G scale. So we're going to start on the D. So we're going to play D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. So we just played a G scale starting on D. Right? We're going to do the same thing on the B string. So we're 
we're starting on B, and we're going to play B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and then get to the octave. Okay, now when we put those together, we can play this harmonized scale. You'll, hear, you'll see that a lot. People will play that for little riffs. It's actually an interval of a sixth. The D to the B is a sixth. And when we just stay in the scale, we're playing six by going up the scale. Okay? So then what we can do in this cross-picking idea that we're coming to is we can let the G, just let that G ring as a pedal tone. Because we're in the key of G, we're playing a G scale. So we can just let this G string, just let it ring. So if I strummed it, it would sound like this. Okay, so that's how we can harmonize the G scale and against this three string pattern. And then when we put a cross pick onto it, we're gonna have something like this. When you play it as a run, you can use any part of that that you want to embellish whatever you're doing in your solo. But if you want to do it as a, as a complete move all the way up to the octave, remember it's a scale, so there's only seven notes. So what ends up happening, if you put that into time, you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We end it on beat four, which we really don't want to do. We always want to cross the bar and end on the downbeat. So the way we fix that or straighten that out is here, we're just gonna play a little chromatic passage to get to the downbeat. So doing that again, we would have this. So we can straighten it out and get to the downbeat. So in context, then, we don't have to play the whole pattern. Because that might be a little bit too much. So we can shorten the cross pick pattern and do something like this. A little run like that. So if we're playing a song and we're coming sort of to the end. Um, we can do a little run like that of sorts, all using alternate picking and playing that as a cross picking pattern. So those are a couple of ways that you can use the alternate picking pattern where we put it into the context of a solo, we put it into our rhythm, we created a run of some of some sort. Um, another way that we use it might be on a tune like Bill Cheatham on the B part where it goes. Right, well, we can cross pick that. Do that again. So you can experiment with ideas where you might want to use that alternate picking pattern. Okay, so in summary for this little series of uh, three videos that we've done, we looked at the down, down, up. We looked at the down, down, up lick, where we played that little hammer-on type lick. And then we looked at the alternate um, cross pick pattern. We can use any one of those at any time that we want to get into a cross picking pattern. It's just going to be your preference, what you feel comfortable with. I happen to learn the down, down, up style, um, it was, which is a Clarence White type style. That's the way I first learned it. And then the alternate uh, picking pattern came later. A lot of guys in more contemporary progressive uh, flat picking styles today may only use the alternating picking pattern. They may not use down, down, up. It really just kind of becomes your preference, the sound you like, the idea that you like, how you want to use it. So um, that's it. So that's pretty much your exposure to cross picking. My suggestion is that you just uh, work it out, work out the patterns, spend a lot of time in front of the TV, just playing that right hand pattern. One of the things that will happen is your right hand will get stronger. You may be used to just strumming chords and your right hand is kind of, you know, is just used to strumming chords or maybe occasionally you'll do a lick or play a little tune, 
But when you start cross picking, your right hand is really going to get strong. It's like going to the gym and doing reps. All of a sudden, you have more control and more command of the instrument because now your right hand is really uh, articulate and able to play different things, whether you're playing a solo, whether you're strumming, whether you're going into a cross pick pattern, whether you're doing some kind of rhythm idea. Where you're just playing and you're not having to think so much about all the other things, it's just on autopilot. That's sort of the idea of how cross picking is gonna help you out. So if you have any questions, like always, please feel free to shoot us a comment, shoot us a question, we'll monitor the boards and we'll answer what we can. Uh, review that article that we uh, had the link for on cross picking, and this should give you all you need to know about uh, beginning cross picking. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time. All right, so what did we end on? I don't know. It's still rolling, so. Oh, it was rolling all that time? Mm -hmm.